Hey, this is Bakari with Mac Photography Tips again. Hey, I was in a, 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 a Flickr.com um, group the other day, and I was talking a little bit about the differences between Aperture 2.0 and iPhoto 08, and it really gave me an idea maybe to do a screencast on the differences. And I have to say straight up that if, if you are an avid photographer who actually does something with your photographs after you take them out of the camera if you you know if you're in the habit of processing them you take a lot of pictures um, I really strongly encourage you to to take a look at Aperture if you're not already using it um, Aperture has all of the the features that iPhoto has it, you know it has the smart albums it has um, it has uh, the, you know uh, advanced editing uh, features. Um, it has the way the ability to do the the books. Um, it has the ability to uh, share uh, photos uh, in galleries with your dot Mac account. Um, it has almost everything that uh, iPhoto has, except iPhoto has in the built-in Flickr now in the Facebook um, uh, feature that's not there. And also you can't do, you can't uh, create cards and calendars within Aperture. But everything else is there. And, but what happens in Aperture is that unlike iPhoto, what you can do is, how, in, in iPhoto you can, you can copy you can copy, um, as you know, you can copy, let's see, let's pull this up. You can copy the um, adjustments that you make on one photo. You're going to copy them here, and you can paste them in another photo. But with Aperture, y you can copy the adjustments you make on one photo and apply it to as many other photos as you like. So you don't have to apply the adjustments to one photo at a time the level of organization in iPhoto is much much better as well you will see that your um, projects your metadata and your uh, editing adjustments are pretty much always available to you in a couple of ways you have the adjustment HUD here and you also can pull up another sim you can pull up another adjustment HUD that kind of floating adjustment HUD here so you always can have your adjustments or projects available to you to work through projects. And what you'll find is that if you're shooting a lot of photographs and you're needing to um, you know, process those photographs, you will do them a lot faster in Aperture as opposed to uh, iPhoto. Now I know that iPhoto comes installed with um, OS X or with most Macs and the iLight program, not OS 10, but come and start with the iLight program and, and most Macs when you buy one. But I think that uh, making the additional $200 investment in Aperture will really cut your, you know, cut your time in half uh, when you're processing photos, actually. Now, I still use Aperture, I mean, iPhoto, mainly because I know there are people out there that uh, still use it and I kind of do screencast on it. And so I kind of put a lot of my family photos in here and then I use the aperture for more of my um, professional work so that's how I kind of keep the, the two differences but if, if I had to get rid of one I would definitely get rid of iPhoto I, I started out using iPhoto a number of years ago back in around 2002 and and it really got me interested in, in digital photography again actually but um, aperture now is just a, a huge time saver and uh, what I want to encourage you to do is take a look at both of them. Um, you will find that you can just do a lot more um, in Aperture and get around with it a lot faster and uh, it's well worth the extra money.